Well, how about that? There's some Fat Freddy's drop. A track called Breakthrough here on Kiwi. Now 9.42. Now I was thought we weren't going to make the um, make the connection, but apparently there's been a um, a few dramas in the Chopper Chopper Reed house this morning. Chopper from Fat Freddy's drop. He joins us. Yeah. Good there's, idea. Always, there's always dramas in our household. <laughs> Who was we've, got, we've got a two and a half year old boy, so what do you expect? <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, do, do you have a wee, fo- wee, wee fall? Uh, yeah, chasing the cat around. How'd you do? Um, yeah, yeah. Did the cat cat come out all right? <laughs> cat always cat always wins in those scenarios. Actually, son always loses. <laughs> they do, don't they? Oh, so we're actually where are we talking to you today? Is it, is it still the Island Bay sort of area? Uh, no, I, I'm actually I'm actually Auckland based. I'm, oh, yeah. Uh, Oh. Yeah, we're, we're sort of spread further afield these days. I'm up here in Auckland. Um, most of the guys are in Wellington. And then um, uh, Dallas Tamara, our uh, vocalist, he lives in Christchurch. So, uh, oh, we're, wow. we're, yeah, we're sort of getting it's spreading our tentacles far and wide. Yeah, um, so it must be a bit more of a mission these days to uh, get you all in the same room. Yeah, well, funnily enough, it actually it's had, in some ways it's had a very positive effect because we, um, you know, we have to organise ourselves uh, a lot more. And... Um, and for example, we've just come off two weeks of rehearsing for these upcoming shows, and it was really a case of yeah, let's put some dates in the diary, let's commit to these times, and 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 let's power through the work. So, um, in in some ways, it's been quite a focusing thing to do. Yeah, um, you are also um, you've got these dates coming up, but I also noticed um, that you've got some you're, you're even planning further afield than that, which must be new for Fat Fairies Drop to to plan that far in advance. But you're going overseas at the end uh, towards the end of the year. Uh, we're actually we're actually only a couple of months away from a few uh, from two overseas tours actually. So we've got we've obviously got these uh, theatre shows around New Zealand coming up at the end of this month, and then um, and then we're off to uh, first the west coast of the United States, which is our second time there. We went there last year, and then back into Europe, which is probably goodness the sixth or seventh tour maybe. Yeah. Yeah, and and you've um, I'm already highly jealous because one of the festivals you guys are attending is Bestival on the, That's Ar- right. on the Isle of Wight, and I've heard so much about this festival. Yeah, it's, good it cra- is. it's crazy. Kiwi, Kiwi, Kiwi FM listeners should uh, have a look at the, the website. It's worthwhile just looking at the website for yeah. Bestival because it's. Uh, it's, that's crazy enough, and the pictures of the uh, of the attendees of this festival are pretty mad. Everyone dresses up, and it's kind of like what a lot of festivals now or other around the world are trying to emulate a little bit as well. Yeah, well, it's a very diverse sort of uh, lineup, um, which suits us actually really well now because because our show and our music is is, is sort of you know stepping away from probably being more reggae and dub oriented. I mean, there's definitely that flavour there, of course, but but we're you know we're really having a look at blues and you know country soul and and uh techno and you know a really direct, um, diverse range of stuff so it, i think we'll fit in there nicely yeah now i don't know if it was just a vicious wild rumor i don't know where i read it but um fat freddy's planning a new album this year well, yeah well actually in conjunction with this um tour um available at the merch stand at the shows will be a live show that we did uh, a recording of a live show ah. that we did um in london uh, probably 18 months ago and we and we did it at a place called the roundhouse which is a, a great venue in uh, camden yeah in london they've got great in-house facilities there so it was all recorded and and uh, it's just been uh, edited and mixed and mastered so that'll be ready and then our plan is to is to get back into the studio and um, and record some more music and release some more music before the end of the year. Oh, so you're, you're mad! This can't be possible. It's Fat Freddy's, <laughs> Fat Freddy's drop. You do you do everything takes years, does it not? Well, we try. I think I think you know in the past absolutely it's taken a long time and our, and our probably probably you know it was the aim of trying to create something um, you know a, a masterpiece that will stand the test of time. Which yeah. is you know you don't want to release anything that's rubbish, but at the same time. Um, you know, it's the music industry's changed a little bit, and and it, having music that's recorded in a different way or approached in a different way is a, enough of a reason in some in some regards to to keep releasing music. So we've been looking at people like the White Stripes, and you know, I mean, uh, Jack White's incredibly uh, prolific, you know, mm-hmm. amongst his various projects, and we kind of use that as a bit of a bit of a uh, touchstone actually and thought yeah well actually you know we've got this live recording it's got it's a good companion piece to uh, 
Dr. Boondigger and the Big VW because it's uh, some of those tunes but play live before they were even recorded in the studio. So it's it's kind of the work in progress stuff, but but the performance itself is is pretty high octane. I can remember that show quite clearly. It was a uh, it was the last show of a very long trip, and so uh, emotions were high, and yeah. we were hyped. So, you know, it, it worked out really well. That is, it sounds sounds really good. I'm looking really looking forward to that. Um, so, these these theatre shows coming up. Um, can you tell us about those? Yeah, well, it, we're really look, looking at it as a chance to um, approach the music and the performance in a slightly different way, because oftentimes we we're doing a headlining show or a headlining a festival or whatever, and you've got you know, an hour and ten minutes to to play a really full on set to a crowd that are you know that have been amped all day, and and that really sort of dictates a, a lot of your sort of musical choices to a yeah. certain extent. Yeah. So so you know the environment here is a lot different. You know, the, not all this audience, but but a portion, at least a portion of the audience, will be seated at every single show. Um, you know, that earlier. <laughs> as well so it's not the middle of the night when we're playing it's about earlier in the evening yep. about kind of um, 7, 8 or 9 o'clock something like that um, and it means that, and the environments will be beautiful there's beautiful theatres beautiful sound beautiful lighting and it means that we can sort of approach the music in a different way so we're playing much much more complex arrangements we've got extra people involved so we've got an additional um, member of the horn section and we've got two fantastic backing vocalists and the, and we've like I said we've spent two weeks um, you know in our rehearsal space in Wellington working on these um, arrangements and and they're quite you know they're quite intricate sort of arrangements of tunes that sort of span the whole history of the band so way back to live at the Matterhorn type recordings in fact there's a tune there's a tune in the set that um, was only ever recorded once and that was on that live recording and uh, the band hasn't played it since. So, so we're really mm-hmm. digging back into the uh, into the treasure chest, really, to, to pull out some tunes that we've wanted to play for a long time, but we just really haven't had the opportunity. Um, so yeah, hopefully it'll 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 you know be a show where people can can concentrate more on the music, um, can relax into it a little bit more. I mean, there'll be lots of uh, peaks and valleys in the show, and and lots of upbeat moments as well. But yeah, there should be there should be hopefully. Uh, some beautiful music as well as some uh, big booming music. Choice, and that all kicks off when? Uh, we start Wellington actually this coming weekend, so that's the uh, it's 21st and 22nd in Wellington, and then we're up to Auckland the following Friday and Saturday, so uh, 28th, 29th, I think that is. Um, then we hit Nelson on the 31st of uh, May and the 1st of June, and that'll be exciting because that's the opening of the. Uh, well, the grand reopening of the Theatre Royale, Royale down there, which I know they've been working feverishly away at to uh, get in and, you know, completed in time for this. Then Christchurch and then Dunedin. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Well, there's so much to look forward to. Kiwi is um, giving away double passes to some of those Great. gigs as well, which we're really looking forward to doing. So, um, yeah, well, it's it's going to be nice. Um, and, and, and it's also going to be good that Fat Freddy's Drops shows just you guys, not not as part of a festival or anything like that. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's, uh, it's the show's actually made up of. I mean, this is we've we've gone we've gone away from the script quite a bit. We've broken the show up into two two halves, and there's an intermission. Um, you know, so it's well, it's, it's like not, an old school show. Yeah, isn't it? it's a really old school theatre show, which we're really excited about how that's going to pan out. I mean, we haven't done anything like that before. Um, so yeah, I mean it's going to be new for us. It's going to be new for the audience. Um, yeah, and it should be a great adventure. Cool, Chopper, Chopper Reed, Fat Freddy's Drop, um, back to the uh, domestic madness for you, and for us, some Fat Freddy's Drop. Pull the catch. Cheers, Chopper. Okay. Just one.